Folks, welcome to The Contrarian Trader. This is Robert Desmond. It is Thursday, May the 19th, 2011. Folks, <clears throat> tonight's focus stock is going to be Staples. Symbol SPLS. Now, Staples, if you were to ask those that are on CNBC, the supposed smartest guys in the room, they would tell you don't touch Staples. From our contrarian opinion, I'm saying you should be looking at staples very, very hard. But you should be thinking, and if you were, I were in front of you, you should be asking me, why do I like SPLS? Do I like it as a trade, or do I like it as an investment? A trade is a few trading days, up to two weeks, and then you're out. An investment is multi-month. So let me clarify. I like SPLS as a trade only at this point in time. I'm not talking about your IRA. I am not talking about your 401k. I am talking about your trading account, your discretionary trading account. There will come a time in the future where SPLS is an investment. And I will send out an alert to my members at that point in time when it becomes an investment. When the technical analysis, when the technicals look good to get involved with this on a long-term basis. As of right now, it is not there yet. But yet, I must reiterate, it is a trade. And let's walk through it. Let's go through the history first. Why is Staples so weak lately? Staples came out a few days ago. Staples cuts outlook. Q1 results disappoint. Stay away, right? All right. So you had your sell-off here. But guess what? The street already knew, and I'm going to tell you how they knew. Take a look back in the first week of May. You had the down volume bars that began to accelerate into earnings. This was not an earnings surprise to the street. This was an earnings surprise to the Main Street investor, you and I. The street knew. We didn't. So, how do we profit from SPLS? Well, the first thing you need to do is get away from the daily charts. If you're looking at an intraday chart, you're nuts. I always fall back on trades like this, extreme oversold trades, to one phrase. Those who forget history are condemned to relive it. That's why we're going to first take a look at the weekly chart. On a weekly basis, you can see that SPLS has found support at the $17 per share level back in August of 10. And it was somewhat of a resistance point back here in late 08, early 09. I don't like the $17 per share level as a support level necessarily. I would prefer it to come down to the $16 per share level because the market tends to overshoot to the downside. The market tends to overshoot to the downside. So, we know where our support levels are, and that's critical. Now let's take a look at the statistics. You only need to go to Yahoo Finance. We have a forward-looking PE on SPLS of less than 10. That's a very, very positive PE forward looking for this stock because it tends to bottom at around 10 on the PE. On a short interest basis, remember this is a NASDAQ listed stock, so they only list once per month. This is old data here. So the last time this was posted, you had about two days to cover short positions. I'm willing to bet after that earnings report, 
it's up to about four. So we can guesstimate that we have about four days, maybe three and a half, to cover the short interest on this stock. We know that the P.E. ratio is cheap on a forward-looking basis. We have earnings behind us, so we don't need to worry about that landmine because we never want to trade ahead of earnings. So now let's get to the daily chart. Why do I like this stock? Okay, as, as I like to mention in these videos, um, listen, the people who love to talk about using oscillators like the RSI love to say that once it gets below 30 on the RSI, it's a buy. It's oversold. Buy it. That's horse crap. And anybody who uses these oscillators for any length of time realizes if you go by that philosophy, you will go broke quickly. I go by an RSI below 20 on an extreme oversold stock before I even consider the stock as a trade. Our RSI is about 17, 16.98, 17. Is that enough to buy this stock now? No, it's not. Because you need to look at not just the RSI, that's a sucker's bet. That's a sucker's bet. You want to take a look at the candlestick action. Do I have support? Yes, you do have support at the 1650 level. Is my down volume dropping? Yes, it is. But it's still high. How my stochastics? They say on the street, once the stokes get below 20, buy the stock. Horse crap. You need to use the stokes, the volume, the candlesticks, and the RSI, and other indicators that I use in, in conjunction with each other. So yes, I like staples. I will soon be sending out an alert to members to get long of staples as a trade. And eventually... We'll look to get long of staples as an investment, but it's not time yet. So right now it's a trade. And the release of the, of the employment data today and the fact that staples did not rally on that news tells me that there's more selling in here. So you see, folks, you just can't use the chart. I like the charts. I love the charts. I live by the charts. But you need to use the charts in conjunction with um, other other um, other news, other other data, and if you fail to do so, you risk losing money. And I don't want you to do that. So please, if you want to know when to get involved with Staples, join the Contrarian Trader. Just go to my homepage, thecontrariantrader.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, just go to my channel page. It'll link you right to it. Join up. It's $29.95 $29 per month. I mean, it's less than a cup of Starbucks a day to invest in yourself. If nothing else, please join uh, in on my contrarian report. Just type in your email address. It's never shared with anybody. I do not share email addresses, unlike my competitors. Also. Please sign up for uh, my YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and on Twitter as well, so that you get some news that could benefit you. And if you're interested in the trade, you could sign up and become a member and know when the contrarians, guys like me, are getting involved with the stock, because that's what I do. When, the, when Wall Street is telling you to do one thing, Trust me, it's sleight of hand. They want you to be looking one way while they're doing another. They're buying staples when they're telling you to avoid it. I'm telling you right now, start looking at staples as a trade, short term anyway. Longer term, we're going to be looking to it as an investment. I think I've made my case here. If For my international uh, uh, viewers, please take a look at uh, my website, view 
the website in um, your language. And that's it, folks. Uh, if nothing else, sign up to, uh, again, uh, my Facebook page, YouTube, and Twitter. And also, The Contrarian Report. And if you want to know when we're going to get long of staples, join up, become a member. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you want to contact me, go to my contact page. Yes, that is me. I'm a little bit grayer now. And um, my email address, business phone. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Talk to you soon. Have a great, great trading day tomorrow. Tomorrow is options expiration. Please be very, very careful. To members that are watching this, I want to go into member options expiration in detail this evening. So stay tuned. Have a great evening, folks. Bye-bye.